Welcome to the first strength training session. I'm gonna hit upper body. Today is day one of training. As you guys saw in last video, we did three cardio sessions. Well, running sessions. So we're doing hybrid training. Like I said, we're doing three days of running and two days of training, two to three days of training. Cause I started later in the week. I mean, it's Saturday and I'm doing the first strength, strength training session. It's not ideal at all, but it is what it is. So I'm going to do strength training today, strength training tomorrow, and I'll probably take Monday off and then go back into it. Or maybe I won't, I don't know. That's the plan, but I'll probably do back to back upper bodies, honestly. Cause the last workout I hit earlier this week was legs. This workout today is probably going to be back and biceps. Uh, and then tomorrow will probably be shoulder Shoulders, um, chest, shoulder, shoulders and arms. I don't even know. Yeah, so he's gonna be back and biceps. So I'm gonna take you guys through what I'm doing. Um, I'm not really gonna be hyper focused on absolutely destroying myself because I'm just kind of getting back into the gym more than anything. So if you're watching this and you're like, why is she not going super, super intense? That's the reason why. Um, ever since moving and everything, you guys can go back and watch those vlogs. I've not been consistent in the gym. So now that I'm into the week one of hybrid training, I'm like dialed, I'm very focused, I'm very excited on what I need to do. And I just feel very, I don't know, inspired and more drive. So I'm gonna keep fueling on that, keep sharing all this stuff with you guys, but welcome to week one this is my first time filming in this gym this is my brand new gym i've actually filmed in here before like a year two years ago this is now my home gym it's absolutely gorgeous it's beautiful maybe i'll give you guys a tour in this video of the gym actually i will i'll do i'll give you guys a tour kind of give you guys a rundown yeah let's get into our training session i did start by warming up with five minutes on the stairmaster at about level five um to get my heart rate going and right when i got on the stairmaster my cardio was like i felt good because i've been running Hope you guys enjoyed last running video let's get into a back and bicep workout I got two scoops of Ghost Pump and a scoop of Ghost Gamer in me, so I'm feeling very dialed, very focused. So let's get after it. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting with just some like lap pullovers, just to warm up more than anything. I haven't been in the gym in a minute. I'm just excited to be here, honestly. I'm just excited to be here more than anything. But it is a little weird filming here because I'm not used to filming here, so but we'll get used to it. Gotta force yourself into it, right? So just super light, more than anything, just getting the body moving. Not too much focus on anything but that. I've actually been eating too, way more calories. So I feel like my workouts are gonna be way better. That feels really good. Like super smooth, super easy, good weight. I'll probably do like three sets just to warm up and then go into like probably lap pull downs or there's this machine over here I really like. So we'll see, but it actually feels really good. Also, ever since I started running, I know I've only ran 30 minutes total, but I already feel so much hungrier. I've just been eating more. Maybe I'm just forcing myself to eat more, or maybe I'm just hungrier because of running. I don't really know, but I've just been hungrier. So I'm not mad about it, but I've definitely been consuming a lot of bull calories more than anything, which is not good, but it is what it is. At least I'm getting calories in. So start there and then from there, <laughs> try and actually control them. But I don't want to be tracking. I think a big common question that you guys would probably ask me is if I'm tracking calories and no, because of my toxic mindset that I've had previously with competing. So I'm trying not to go back into that. I'm trying to stay away from that more than anything. Just intuitively eating and just building from there. So yeah. The part is I'm filming for YouTube, but I'm also filming for TikTok and Instagram. So I'm gonna have to be the person with two tripods, doing too much. It's fine. It's fine, I'm fine. <laughs> am I on your way? No, not at all. I wanna make sure if I come here, I'm- Yeah, no, yeah, you're good. I'm, I am, no, you're good. Moving on to the next exercise. This machine is pretty, like, really fancy, and it keeps you, like, super in the motion that you need to be in. I don't know how else to explain it, but we're gonna be doing single arm pull downs. This is way too heavy, I think. I don't remember what I had last time. Is this 25s? No, actually, maybe this is good. We'll start with this. Go from there. I was just gonna clip this to my headband. Where <laughs> should I clip it? Just to make sure. This is weight. Who is sitting here? Some tall motherfucker. It just seems too far. Short girl vibes. Am I high enough? I should be good. The biggest thing here is just moving slow and controlled. So many of you guys are always just moving way too fast. Just slow down. Some of the muscles you're supposed to be pulling with. I'm just gank the weight, guys. Have a purpose. And typically with movements like this too, make sure you're taking a break in between arms, especially if you're doing single arm or single leg stuff or whatever. Like you're doing split squats and you're holding on, you need to reset before going into the next arm. A lot of times you see people go from one to one, 
take a second, reset, then go to the next arm. Because sometimes you'll see you're already tired going into the next arm and then that next arm is just lacking as much energy because you just went right from one arm to the other. So that's just a personal tip. Also, this is uh, the Young LA. These sold out so fast, but there's new ones coming out this month, April 30th. So be ready for those really pretty colors like lilac, yellow, some gorgeous colors. I haven't gotten them in yet. They'll be in next week and I'll show you guys more compression tops. They're slightly different than the first round of compression tops they dropped. So we'll see how they feel. Cause the first round of compressions I liked, but they were too tight in my armpits. These ones are like the best in my opinion. So I'll give you guys a real update on those compression tees once I get them. I think they're supposed to be in Tuesday. And then I have the men's drop coming in on Monday. So it feels lighter by it. I got a really good contraction on these, almost too good, like it hurts, like bad, but in a good way. All right, I'm gonna do like two more sets of this and then move on to like a seated, uh, like low row. See you guys there. I just switched out this attachment for the same attachment. To me, it looks completely different, so it is what it is. Now I'm just gonna do three sets of seated row. The problem with this is I actually should be probably sitting a little bit higher and further back, but I'm just naturally short, and the way this is set up is unfortunate. Like if I had another pad right here, it'd make it a little bit better, but it is what it is. We'll work with what we have. Um, at the old gym, we would always put another pad here just because I'm so short to give me more distance between. Because uh, if I'm like as far back as I can, it's almost like at the breaker, unfortunately, but with this attachment, it should be okay. So like I said, I'm not going super crazy. I'm just doing what I can. Like look, full extension, I'm almost at the... Try and keep your chest up with these. I feel like I'm pulling more on my right side, not intentionally, but I just feel like I'm pulling more on one side, one on the other, which is no bueno. Something I need to focus on. I'm definitely lopsided. Like if I stand straight up and you looked at me, I like go at like an angle. It's something I really need to fix. We're good friends now with like, well Dan's always been friends with, good friends with our massage therapist guy. Hopefully he can help and get me like lined up the way that I need to be because I'm just super lopsided and I've been like that for years. Ever since like soccer, well it wasn't even related to soccer, but I was stupid and basically tore my labrum and never got a fix, never did anything for it. And ever since that, I've just been super lopsided and I don't have the best posture. This is me admitting to those things and that I need to be better at them <laughs> because you probably struggle with stuff like this too, but we just don't like do anything about it. And then all of a sudden we're super old and then all of a sudden it's like too late. And then all of a sudden you're like, holy sh where did life go and why didn't I take care of my body? Like, let's just take care of that stuff now. So this is my warning to you to take care of that stuff now because I'm gonna start taking care of it. Yes, it costs money, but you're investing in your health. So like, just get over it. You know what I mean? Like if you can get your nails done, you can get iced coffee every day. Like you can take care of your body, you know? Like go get a fucking massage, like go see a chiropractor, you know? Yeah, you know exactly what I mean. All right, I'm gonna do two more sets of this. I'll see you the next exercise. We're going back to lap pullovers, but now they're not a warm up. They're actually with like heavier weight and more intention. Not saying my warm up didn't have intention. Um, Dan has this strap that he bought because Collective doesn't actually have this, which is weird. I figured they would. So this is Dan's. I just like this because I can just hook my hands in this. You can get these online, I think, for like 30 bucks, maybe even less. But you can just like naturally put your hand in it or like down. That way you're not like squeezing and getting your forearms and arms like super involved or your like triceps. And you can really focus on your lats more than anything. So that's why I really like this. I have like major forearms issues with like squeezing everything too hard and then like my forearms and grip give out before anything else and that's a not a good problem because I want to be able to exhaust the muscle like that I want to be focusing on not just like my forearms and my grip strength that's why I like this more than anything so I'm gonna do a little bit more power focus more strength focus on this and then go to do like one bicep workout I don't really like doing too much of bicep I just do like one exercise three sets um, to exhaustion and it's usually it so I can definitely go heavier, so I just went up, but overall feels pretty good. Can't complain. Okay, ending with some biceps. I've never done this one. It's just like a normal like preacher curl machine, but or arm curl, but I don't know if I'm gonna like this one because I haven't done it yet. So we're gonna find out if I do like it or not. I start pretty light, find a good weight. Sometimes with these, I engage my like traps and arms way too much. Oh my, this might be way too light, wait see. This one must be nice. Oh my God, it was just fucking, oh, you could do like a, Ooh, okay, okay, wait, I'm gonna do it like this. Yeah, okay, it's too light, but this is a really good machine, I like this. A lot of machines here are really, they're pretty fancy and pretty nice. Actually, they're really, really nice, I'm, like really fancy. 
the equipment is pro Atlantis and pro Maxima, I think is what it is, but they're all so nice. And like everyone here treats everything so nice and this place is so new, so it's lovely. This hurts my tits up. That's really good. It really keeps it focused on my bicep. Like I really like this machine a lot. I'm gonna be able to go up, we'll see. Just let the blood flow. Yeah, this I like this machine a lot. Cause normally you like feel restricted right here. I like how my legs can come like all the way through. And this isn't as like huge and it's not like at this like straight incline. It's at like perfect incline. Yeah, I like this. I'm gonna finish up with this, do a few sets here and then I'll give you guys a little brief rundown of the gym because it's so dope. Yeah, after that, we'll see you at the next training session tomorrow. I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown of the gym. We gotta head out of here because Dan's got tennis, but where I'm at, you walk in and there's a massive turf, air, turf area with cardio and like powerlifting, all of that. So let me show you guys. There's the whole turf area. So pretty, there's shoddy outside. Then you have all these weightlifting platforms. And then it goes into dumbbell section, all custom dumbbells. K for Kalo. <laughs> then you have all of your benches over here, weight training. There's like hypervolts over there as well that you can use, which is sick. They're just like charging all the time. And then here's more like strength training area. Everything is just so nice. Like it's 4 p.m. on a Saturday and this is what it looks like in here. That's why I love this gym so much. And the entrance is over there. And then upstairs, there's like a podcast room, there's offices for the owners, everything. And then you go through these doors and we're gonna have, we're gonna have more like private areas where you can work, private gym area, locker rooms, everything. I know it's dark, just get over it. It'll adjust here in a second. Okay, so here's a private training room. This is where I was recording in the beginning. This whole thing is for like trainers technically and it's private, but you can come in here, you can connect your phone to Bluetooth on the speakers. Like every single machine has like a screen on it like this. And basically you log in into a pen and you can track all of your workouts and it'll go into like the app. So you can put your reps, it can time every rep and all the machines have that as well, which is so sick, it's pretty crazy. So yeah, these usually have a bunch of games on and stuff. And then right outside of here, there's like a work area. They got Norma Techs, like everything you could think of that you could just use. And then there's like a cold brew bar, which is like unlimited cold brew, I think. Private pickleball court. And then saunas, and let me just keep showing you. Okay, so this is the private pickleball court, guys. It is literally insane. Can you tell what, like, I feel like the, that brand probably paid for this. I don't know, but it's so sick, fully private. There's like couches, benches. They do like leagues and stuff, which we just got an email for a league, but it's like $140 for like five weeks, I think, but you can win cash. So I don't know, I'm thinking about signing up. They got a speaker in here, balls, paddles, locker, like whatever you want, guys. Like, again, this membership is stupid expensive, but it's so worth it. Outside they have basketball court, sand volleyball, um, you name it. And then there's like a whole work area. Like I said out there, there's just people in there. I don't want to like be recording them and bother them because I already get enough weird looks in here, but yeah, pretty, pretty sick. I cannot lie, oh my God, I'm so mad that it's empty and I'm not playing right now, but let me show you the sauna ice bath area if no one's in there. Okay, so in here, I can't go in there because I got my shoes on, but you have multiple ice baths and then there's two of these huge saunas as well. I think there's like four ice baths and then there's like a shower back there as well. You could rinse off in between, but truly it's absolutely unreal. They have everything here. This is the outdoor area. Basically everything. I don't want to get in too many people's space, but the locker room has like anything to think of it. Deodorant, tampons, Dyson air blow dryers, like everything. It's freaking crazy. But all right, I will see you guys at tomorrow's training session. What's going on guys? Here is a look at the last day of strength training. Here's a fit, ready to get into it. Super excited to kind of finish the week off strong. This is Sunday. So we ended up going in and hitting a push workout. So I just warmed up with some just y's and t's that's what you would call these i did about two to three sets of these i did like 20 reps each uh, then i saw my friend who introduced me to the soccer league and i was talking to him and how i'm going to play in one of the games this week then i went into a heavier set of dumbbell lateral raises so i definitely needed to pause at the top a little bit more here i was moving a little bit fast but again today's focus throughout this whole week is just kind of getting back into it 
not overdoing it, not putting too much pressure on myself, but just showing up. That is the focus on these first few weeks is just showing up, making an effort, following through, following a plan, and then moving forward. I'll like to, not like to, but I will increase the intensity. So from there we went to a rear delt. Um, like, so there's no really structure here. I'm just kind of showing up. <laughs> That's the biggest thing. So went to a rear delt movement. Um, my neck actually was kind of bothering me after this, but moral of the story, don't neglect your rear delts. Make sure that you're um, targeting them properly because a lot of people are targeting more their back than they are their rear delts. So if you can have someone kind of tap on that muscle, I'll promise it'll help a lot. Then from that, I went to just one single chest movement. This machine actually felt really good. I probably needed to move the seat a little bit now that I'm watching back on this, but maybe it was okay. I just tend to be a little bit naturally lopsided. And that's just me, like I said previously in the video. And then from here, went into a shoulder press movement. Started super light. I think I only went up to 25 pounds, but this whole set, I just used 20 pounds. And the next two sets, I went up to 25 pounds. Like I said, not pushing it, but just showing up, focusing on tempo, pushing weight in general and not hyper fixating on what do I look like? Am I pushing enough weight? Where's my strength at? Like, oh my God, I lost so much strength. No, I'm just showing up. Like I said, and I'll just keep saying it. Then went into a lying down um, skull crusher. I really do like doing these. Some people struggle because they don't have the best shoulder or elbow mobility or wrist mobility, but I really do like this movement. So if you've never tried this before, I would highly recommend it. And yeah, that was pretty much it. Nothing crazy. This is what we're looking like at the end of week one of hybrid training three runs at 10 minutes and three strength training sessions. I'm feeling great.